guys in this project i'm going to need two trays two candle holders all this i bought them from the dollar tree for one one dollar those are the two candle holders i'm going to need in this project i'm also going to need mirror those are the mirror that i bought i'm going to need two of those i i'm going to have to remove the frame i only need the mirror and also i'm going to be using the glue that i used in my previous project is six thousand and that is a little bit above one dollar and also i'm going to be needing the adhesive diamond wrap i need the silver i'm going to be using the gold as well also in this project i'm going to need the glue gun in order for me to secure my adhesive so right here i'm taking out the plastic bag and i will go ahead and remove the frame because i only need the mirror inside like i said before and i'll put that aside So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the glue around the frame of the candle holder in order for me to uh, glue both uh, candles holder together. I will fix that and go ahead and put it aside. I have to put something heavy on top so that it will be able to stick on while I work on the rest of the projects. So right here, I'll be trimming out the size of the adhesive uh, glue that I needed in order for me to go around the frame of the tray just to, you know, to just it up, to give it the blends, to give it life. That's what I'm going for. And in order to secure the end-to-end -end, uh, adhesive diamond wrap, I use my glue gun at the end to end in order to secure it and that's the end result so we move on with the project and so i pick up the e6000 to put at the center of the tray in order for me to secure the mirror on it i also went ahead and put some glue at the back of the mirror Please bear in mind I did the same process to the second mirror. So right here I trim out a little bit of the diamond wrap and I cut it out of course and I kind of use my mind or my eyes just to count and see what size is going to fit in between the mirror and the frame. And so I continue the same process until I filled the entire frame with the diamond wrap. So after I finished, in order for me to make it look neat, of course, those empty space that I'm showing you, you guys right there, I cut exactly the shape that will fit into those spaces and I fixed them and they came out looking snatched and bam, bam, bam. And the candle holder that we did at the beginning was finally fully secured. So I went ahead and picked up the diamond wrap and just sized the amount that I wanted, cut it out and continue to stick on and the same, just go around. I followed two patterns like gold, silver, gold, silver and that was what I did all around it. So right here I trim out a little bit size. Uh, to put at the bottom of the candy holder just to you know to just it up and give him some more life just like the rest of it and I just went in the same pattern gold silver gold silver so I went ahead and pick up the glass cleaner spray it and clean it in order to remove my fingerprints and then I went ahead and put the glue E6000 in the center of the tray also around the frame of the candle holder and I secure it I also put some glue at the upper one upper uh, candle holder 
then I'm going to be putting the other tray on top of it. But before I did that, I put some glue at the bottom of that too in order to secure it. So when I finished making this, I saw my imperfection after I put my uh, perfumes and nail polish. You guys will see it along the way, but I fix it by putting big diamonds on it to conceal those imperfections and I gave it out as a gift to my colleague at work because she wanted me to make her one. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.